Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video we will show you how to isolate DNA from ripe papaya. For isolating DNA from the ripe papaya, we have to follow the following process. Means first we have to crush the papaya, then to use detergent and salt, then cooling and then precipitation with the ethanol. Let's start the experiment. First of all, remove the outer surface means spill of the ripe papaya and then chop it into the small pieces. Now, transfer this chopped papaya means pieces of papaya into a zipper poly bag and zip it. Now, next take a beaker containing 100 ml of distilled water and to this add 4 to 5 teaspoon of sodium chloride and then mix it properly with the help of glass rod to dissolve the sodium chloride in the distilled water. Then transfer about 2 to 3 tablespoon of liquid detergent into this salt solution. Sodium chloride helps to remove the protein that are bound to the DNA. It also helps to keep the protein dissolved in the aqua solution so that they don't precipitate in the alcohol along with the DNA. Here the detergent degrades the membrane phospholipids and the protein to release the DNA from the cell. Mix the content of the beaker properly with the help of glass rod and then transfer this salt and liquid soap solution into the chopped papaya pieces which is in the poly bag. Now crush this papaya pieces in this way which is inside the poly bag. Crushing with this solution means crushing the papaya with the solution of liquid soap and salt isolate the DNA present in the cell of papaya. Mash all the pieces of papaya properly inside the poly bag so that the salt and liquid soap solution will penetrate inside the cell so that DNA get released from the cell. Now after crushing all the pieces of papaya, transfer this crushed papaya pieces into a beaker and then filter it through the tea filter to remove the pulp and after this discard the pulp and collect the filtrate below in the beaker. Then again filter the filtrate with the normal filter paper to remove the remaining fiber and the pulp left in the filtrate. After filtration with the filter paper, we get clear filtrate. Then again collect the filtrate. After filtration, then transfer 20 to 30 ml of 95% pre-cooled ethanol in a petri dish. Now, slowly pour the papaya filtrate which we have prepared into this petri dish containing pre-cooled ethanol. Here you can see that fine thread like structure form in the petri dish. Here we are using ethanol. You can also use isopropanol because in ethanol and isopropanol DNA is insoluble and on addition of this ethanol white precipitate of DNA comes out of the solution. After this within a few minutes you can see a small granule like structure which is nothing but DNA which gets start precipitating after the addition into the ethanol. After 2 minutes, you can clearly see the DNA in the petri dish. You can see the network fiber like structure which is DNA. Here you can see the cloudy white color fiber like structure which is DNA floating on the surface of ethanol. Here we are accumulating this DNA at one place uh, with the help of needles so that you can easily visualize the DNA. Here in the petri dish, the lipids and the proteins which fall and settle down to the bottom of the petri dish due to its high density and the DNA which is less denser than the proteins and the lipid will rise and float over the alcoholic layer. And after 5 minutes, more and more DNA comes out of the solution means more and more DNA precipitate out from the ethanol solution as a white cloudy structure. And this is how we isolate DNA from the ripe papaya fruit. Thank you very much for watching this video. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link is given in the description box. Thank you.